today we're at the Christina Ryman Butterfly Wing at the Ryman Gardens in Ames, Iowa. And joining me is Aaron Style, who is the assistant director here. And Aaron, you've got both tropical and native butterflies in here. What yeah. kind of goes into maintaining this? Well, this is a USDA regulated facility because it has exotic species in it. And uh, we get shipments of butterflies in the pupa or chrysalis state uh, once a week from suppliers from around the globe. And we bring those in, we put them in special conditions to get them to emerge. And once they emerge, they come in here and greet visitors. So you're doing this throughout the year, right? Yes, I mean, we are here year round with this facility, which is really nice, especially in the middle of winter. Right, it's, it's so nice to come in here. I feel like I'm in a tropical paradise. We've got blue morphous floating around yeah. and all sorts of butterflies. We've got a few long wings as well, it mm -hmm. seems like. Are, are there certain ones that you like for certain reasons? or? You know, there are certain varieties and butterflies that we have in here year round. Things like the blue morpho we have here often. We also have a, a butterfly that's relatively large. It looks like a white monarch. It's called a giant wood nymph. Wow. Uh, and those are some of my favorites because they're so big and easy to spot. But we actually have permits for um, over a thousand different butterflies. And so anytime you come here throughout the year, you'll find new and different butterflies. So, so what all goes into making sure that they stay in here? Yeah. I know the USDA has some regulations you yeah. have to follow. Can you tell us a little bit about so that? So we want to make sure they don't get out on the visitors. So there's a vestibule that you pass through, and in that vestibule there are some mirrors to check yourself over, make sure you don't have any hitchhikers on. There are other uh, things in here too. The, the room is naturally um, lower air pressure in here, so the wind blows in when you open the door. There's mm -hmm. an air curtain. Um, there's netting and uh, uh, the air, air handling system is completely contained. Uh, okay. It's not shared with the rest of the building, all in an effort to make sure that these insects don't leave. And you know exactly what's coming in and what's going out. Yes, they have, have to have keep to meticulous records. And yes. dispose of it properly and yep. that sort of stuff. Yep, like everything that leaves is either frozen for 72 hours or incinerated. Okay, all right. Well, so let's talk about the plants that you've got in here. Typically, when we think of butterfly gardening, we say you've got to have hosts and uh, nectar plants. Right. But in here... It's just nectar plants. Okay. We don't want to be a host for these <laughs> little creatures. Uh, if we had all of these butterflies laying eggs, we'd be out of plants in two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's a lot easier for a small little caterpillar to accidentally get out than an adult butterfly. And so we, do, we make uh, very sure that we have no host plants in here. Uh, for them to lay their eggs on. It actually makes the butterflies live a little bit longer too because a lot of species, once they lay their eggs, they're kind of done with their life cycle. And right. They never find a place to lay those eggs. So they Keeps live a little bit longer. A little longer. Yeah. yeah, so we have a lot of really nice um, nectar plants that we're trying to uh, give them really good food sources so that they can live as long as possible in there. And some of them are, a lot of what we recognize as annuals and tropicals. We've mm -hmm. got some pentas and, and things like that. Yeah, pentas and uh, lantana are some of our favorites to use. Okay, all right. Well, it's definitely colorful and it's a nice little winter oasis to yeah, come in here. It is. And, and beautiful nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing this with us. Yeah, thanks for coming. hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. <music>